This is Andy Staples for SI.com here in Tuscaloosa, Alabama at Bryant Denny Stadium where Alabama has just beaten LSU 38-17 to with my colleague Stuart Mandel. This was a 17-all game in the third quarter. What happened? You know, at that point in the game, actually for the whole first half and then early in the third quarter, it seemed like LSU might be able to win this game. You know, the one concern for Alabama coming into the game was their cornerbacks who had issues obviously early in the season against Texas A&M. How would they match up against Odell Beckham and Jarvis Landry? And quite frankly, in the first half, not very well. Now, I, I know you were probably doing the same thing I was, and that's in that first half thinking, okay, so if Alabama were to face Florida State in the national championship game, if they can't cover Odell Beckham, how will they cover Kelvin Benjamin? If they have trouble with Jarvis Landry, how would they, how would they cover Rashad Green? Those thoughts are definitely going through my mind, and then you look up and it's 38-17. to 17. Yeah, just, just like that, the defense clamps down. The offense really just kind of took over and was steamrolling, holding the ball, as Nick Saban says, taking the air out of the ball. I really think that was the whole key to the game. You know, they probably, well, we can't say for sure, but it would not have been a good idea for them to stay in a track meet with LSU the whole game. So yeah. what do they do? They control the tempo. They give it to TJ Yeldon over and over and over again. Obviously, McCarron making some, uh, you know, very timely throws as well. And they just put together three very methodical touch drive, touchdown drives in a row to put the game away. Also, there was a fake punt call in there where your guy CJ Mosley CJ handed Mosley it with off. CJ Mosley a handoff. Right. Given what happened Thursday night, Oregon losing to Stanford, we need to kind of put this into a bigger picture perspective. What does this mean? Does, does the the fact that Alabama showed a couple chinks in the armor in the first half suggest that maybe they could lose down the road before the national title game? Or are they just going to run through everybody? I don't think anybody at this point could say, I'm absolutely 100% certain that Alabama is the best team in the country. They may very well be. It's hard to pick against them after two straight national titles. But you've got that team in Tallahassee that has just destroyed everybody they've played. And like you said, has exactly the kind of players, those receivers, that could give Alabama matchup problems. Then you've got Baylor out there still putting up all those points. Ohio State still undefeated. Getting better every week, it seems like Ohio State is. It, that, I, don't, I don't know. It's, it, it's hard to pick. With, the easy way seems to be to say Alabama and Florida State because they're almost mirror images of right. each other. That would be a fun matchup to see because they're so close. But wouldn't you like to see the clash of styles maybe between an Alabama and a Baylor or a Florida State and a Baylor? Well, unfortunately, we don't have a playoff yet. No. But, you know, in Florida State. This would be so simple if only the, we're next year. And Florida State's remaining games are not, you know, they're the team that probably of, those, of that group has the least chance of losing. Well, if nothing else, I think. Tonight, you know, it was the first time a lot of people had a reason to tune into an Alabama game since mid since the AM game in mid September. And it served as a nice reminder that, oh, yeah, they've still got AJ McCarron. They've still got TJ Young. They've still got all those receivers. OJ Howard, the freshman tight end, gets into the mix with an 88 yard touchdown today. This team is still loaded. Um, you can pick, pick. But it isn't perfect. And that's what's going to make the rest of the season interesting. That's correct. And it's going to make it so that whoever, if they do reach a national title game, whoever they play, I don't think people are going to be saying, oh, they're going to destroy them. It's not as much of a certainty this year. Next month's going to be fun. Yep. For SI.com, I'm Andy Staples with Stuart Mandel.